Uh, my name is Jim Ongwang. I'm the associate field officer, part of the ERT emergency response deployed in South Sudan. Right now we are at uh, Rank Transit Center where we are receiving refugees from Sudan, including also the returnees who are South Sudanese. These are people who will be supported by the government of uh, South Sudan, also International Organization of Migration, IOM, to help them provide them support so that they can reach their places of habitual residence. But at the transit center here, one of the main things that we are working with the partners as UNACR is to provide pot meal uh, through, through our partner WLP. We provide the food and the food is prepared uh, through our partner Gold. Uh, we are also working with partners to provide uh, water. Unfortunately, water tracking here is very expensive. We are tracking about 130,000 liters on average every day at the transit center. And still, this is not always adequate. Uh, we are also trying to provide emergency pit latrines here and this is one of the biggest challenges also that we have is not matching with the population. Uh, UNACI is also doing border monitoring with other partners. Our main border here is called Jordan which I think about one hour drive, possibly about 60 kilometers or so. Uh, at the border point we do flow monitoring, counting every new arrivals. We also do uh, vulnerability screening, mainly female headed households, uh, six persons, disabled people, people also who were uh, injured during Sudan's uh, fightings, and people also who uh, had a chronic illness. They have health center here offered by other partners. Also we have water systems, we have sanitation before they are moved to the transit center where uh, onward transportation will be organized for, for, for the population group that has been screened here basically for, for further for further assistance. And as most on arrival they could tell you that the travel from Khartoum to here five days, six days, seven days, did depend on the itineraries that the individual uses. At the transit center, uh, we are also providing health services. This is also very critical, primary health care through our partner Relief International. There are also people who may need emergency health needs. Where we are right now, we don't have adequate shelter. This is part of the things that we need to put in place. Right now, the money that we have to put for shelter is about eight only, and this is not adequate if we are talking a population of about 6,000 to 10,000, and we are expecting more. Relocation is another thing which is very costly, very expensive. We need more funding so that we can have adequate fleet so that people are able to move faster. We still appeal to the international community to support this emergency operation in South Sudan, and we know not only South Sudan, but also other, other countries within the region.